everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I've got a few things to share with you. So I popped into town, trying not to go in there too much. And obviously with a pending full lockdown looming, if that's going to happen or not, I thought I'm going to go in, get a few bits that I need to. And I've actually brought a few Christmas presents as well. And um, I popped into the works. So I picked up these. I saw I've got um, these larger silver ones, which you would have seen me feature in shaker cards and I've also got those in brown and I've got lots of sequins but they had these little kind of jars for a pound and these are smaller silver ones but they're just the discs and these just are so I prefer these in my shaker cards because they're so flat and smooth they just move really freely sequins are lovely and I've got lots of these but because they have a bit of dimension to them they can kind of build up on top of each other and get a bit stuck and I find you know things like this just move a bit better. So I picked up, they, they didn't have a great deal and they had, they had more shapes, I was hoping they had some red ones but they didn't. But I did get these lovely kind of um, pinky purpley coloured ones, very similar to these ones here. So I mean they would look quite nice like mixed together so I can have a play around with them. Um, and then like I said, the silver, and then I've got the gold there as well. Really nice, these are gonna get used um, through Christmas um, in different projects and stuff. But I thought for a pound, you get a lot in there. And they come in these jars as well, so they're, you know, they're easy to store. I can pop them onto my little pegboard shelf. So I picked up those. Then I picked up these here, and I just, I'm gonna be making some kind of wreath and 3D projects and things like that. This is pound fifty. I just thought they were really good quality. I love the pom-poms anyway. And then you get the, the holly leaves, which just on their own would look nice with, um, you know, some, some different little red balls or something. So I've got other bits and pieces that I can mix with this. I mean, they've got thread with this, so you're, you're meant to stitch it all together um, to make a pom-pom garland. But I'm going to probably just use them, you know, on their own and kind of break it all apart, really. So for pound fifty again, I just thought the quality was really nice. And um, you get quite a lot in there. And then I picked up these two paper pads. They're a pound each. They're very similar to the other Christmas one that I shared maybe about four weeks ago, which I picked up from the works. You would have seen me use it in my Daisy May makes. It seemed to work really well with that. I used it on a gift box and a few other things. But I saw this one and these colours are a bit more vibrant. Again, they're those greens and reds, which I really like at Christmas. So I just was drawn to this one here, which was like that candy cane kind of look. You've got a snow scene there. You've got some stripes, oh, sorry, zigzags bit of a kind of plaid look there. Love this one and I don't think they're very Christmassy. You could use these throughout the year as well. I think they look quite good on some masculine makes. So although they are the Christmas colours, I mean that striped background you could use on a nice spring card, you know. So you've got a snow scene there with the red background. Those are little, yeah, little Christmas trees. So that one obviously not so much. Other zigzag there and then you've got some, uh, yeah, I guess the snowflakes. Just thought it was really nice, classic Christmas. Um, for a pound, they're going to get used on my, my kind of favours, little boxes and stuff that I like to put into my friend's gift bags. So yeah, I picked up two because I think I only got one of the other paper pad and um, I wish now that there was two and I went in there to look for that one and they didn't have any more left. So I've gone for this one now. And then I saw these which I've never seen before and these are clear sentiments and these I just think, if I grab maybe the back of this, there we go. They're going to look really nice on acetate. So I thought on shaker cards and any kind of apertures that I might be doing with just a window, these are going to look really nice stuck on there. So I'm hoping the adhesion, the stickiness is really good. And um, yeah, you've got Merry Christmas on that one. Well, why did I think there was Happy Christmas on some of them? Maybe I saw something else. So yeah, Merry Christmas in the gold and then Merry Christmas in the red. I thought they're really nice. You get loads on there, 24. Um, again for a pound but I just like that they were clear I've not seen anything like that so I grabbed those and I'll share the links because if you don't have a works nearby they do have an online store they don't ship internationally unfortunately but anybody you know in the UK and um, you know maybe yours don't have these ones they may well be online so I'll link those below and then I picked up some of these I like these ones because they're just a little bit bigger so if you have got any bulk to the cards which most of mine do they fit really nicely in these so I've just picked up these you get 45 for 150 and then I got them again this one here is the A5 but I prefer that for my 5x7 cards because again if they've got the dimension and the, the envelopes are always a little bit bigger and they just fit nicer into these so yeah, again from the works it's the craft place and um, yeah just always handy and then as I was paying this was at the till and it's an LED flashing party necklace now I've seen, seen these I've seen them over you know a couple of years really 
if I just take it out there. So what I thought, this is going to look nice in my shadow boxes or any, again, my 3D makes, I'm going to bound to do another Christmas cottage or something. Now, not all of them light up, which I didn't realise at the time, but I still think it looks nice. So it's all, this is all you've got to kind of conceal is this small little battery pack. But when you, so you get, I think there's four different settings. So you can see it's every two. So you've got one, then you've got two normal ones, then a light, then two, and then a light, and so on. So you've got the flashing, then you've got that one, that's quite nice. And then slightly faster, and then they stay on. So again, I just thought it was quite nice, and gave it £2, it was a bargain. And when it's off, it looks really nice as well, because it's obviously all coloured. So yeah, just thought, I'm not going to use it as a necklace. I'm going to use it on some of my 3D makes. So that's what I picked up from the works. Then I popped into the pound shop. They've got lots of their Christmas stuff now out and I picked up these. They're the rice lights. I always use these, but they call them micro lights. I use them a lot. They're great for cards as well. These ones do have the bigger battery pack though, so not so much, but you can get the ones with just the disc batteries. So it's a lot flatter and they're good in your cards. But these ones here you would have seen me use last year in the cottage, in my advent calendar, in my big Christmas village. These are the ones that I like to use. So for a pound, you can't go wrong so I picked up two boxes and no doubt I'll probably need some more they also look nice in things like wine bottles and just um, you know um, wrapped around other kind of candles and things like that that you might have at Christmas time so they are very handy and I like that smaller light and then I got a couple of bits from Amazon so these are two separate orders and then I've got another one to share in a moment and these are the wax seals I really like these I've got lots of them already which I've shared and I've done a tutorial on them if you're interested I'll share it up here I like to do this once I've kind of put the card in the envelope seal it all up and then I finish it with a wax seal but I had no Christmas ones so this one here is the North Pole official seal so if you are maybe sending a letter from Santa to your children this is a perfect one because it looks like that official seal but also these are great not to just put on envelopes you can use them on scrapbook layouts you can actually use them on the front of cards as well they look really nice so that's the the stamp there that you would then put onto your hot wax and then when it dries you take this off and it will have this impression on your wax seal so it looks really nice and then I picked up this set here so I've got one two three four five six different ones here so this one is a christmas tree it's a really nice one then i have father christmas or santa claus as you can just see there again they look much nicer when they're actually you know printed onto the wax and then this one here says best wishes i think i might have that one actually oh no i think mine's with love and then this one here is the reindeer flying just see it there and then i have this one here says Merry Christmas in that kind of traditional font. And then I have this one here, which is the snowman. I really like that one. So I haven't used them yet, but I've, I ordered the other ones. I ordered these from the same company I'd ordered before and they were all perfect. So I've got no worries that they're not going to print. Now, what I'll probably do is once I'm kind of ready to write in all of my Christmas cards is I might do a video of me sealing them all and then you'll get to see how these all work but this one here I believe was 11 99 something around that price possibly this was a little bit more because it was sold just on its own like that I think I paid maybe 6 99 for this but again these are things that are going to last you forever the wax seals have been around for absolutely hundreds of years you know so it's not something that I would ever get rid of and it's just that final perfect little touch I think on your envelopes it looks really nice and you get the boxes there so these make great gifts as well if you've got any crafty friends and you want to send them something I've got a big box that I keep all mine in so I will add this to the in a moment so and then I stocked up on some more of my labeler refills so these are the tapes that go into the labeler machine I've got the brother p-touch this is the d210 and I have shared a video where I show you me using this and organising my stamps, something like that. It was a while ago. I'll link it up here if you're interested. There are loads of other great labeler machines as well. My mum has a different brother one, which is more of a handheld one. It's like a, a taller rectangle kind of shape. But this one here I bought when I was abroad. Ironically, I've had to label my labeler. So um, this was all had Chinese writing, but I just went onto the brother website and I was able to just, you know, work out what all these meant. And it's really, really easy to use. It prints out from the top. You just take the back off here and this is where your tapes go in. But the reason I'm showing the tapes is you can get the brother official tapes, which are obviously a lot more expensive. But these ones I just got off of Amazon and I've brought these. These last a long time. To be fair, I haven't actually had to do this order you get five I think it's 11.99 and the last time I purchased them was probably last year but because I've obviously recently um, 
moved I've got a new craft room I've been organizing and um, you know kind of relabeling things so that's why I've got these but this is now going to last me such a long time and um, again it's just much much cheaper this way it's just like my I've got the I've got a Canon printer I don't buy the Canon inks I go to Tesco and I buy the Tesco ones so they they work just as well I buy the black on white so it's just the black white writing on the white but you can get different colors if you wanted to uh, all on there as well so again I'll share the links below um, but that's what I use I get a lot of people sometimes in comments and stuff they're like oh where do you get your labeler from this is linked on my Amazon storefront which is on my Facebook page I'll link it below because it's also in the description box as well if you've missed it if you're interested check it out it's a great machine I've had this for for about three years now and uh, yeah it's great no problems at all so I thought I would just show you those for those of you that have been asking and then I got my order from Craft Stash and actually been waiting ages for this and that's not down to Craft Stash Craft Stash you know sent it out really quickly but it got delivered and then I wasn't in and they didn't leave me the note so I didn't realize it had been delivered till about a week and then um, yeah I had to chase it anyway this is what I brought. So in preparation for all my Christmas makes, I've got the big tub here of the very fine silver embossing powder. So this is the Cosmic Shimmer and it's the detail embossing powder. So this is perfect for your sentiments and um, it's lovely. So I've had the smaller one before, but I wanted to get the bigger uh, tub. So this is the 100 mil and it's the Silver Shine Metallic. So again, yeah, those of you that like to do your embossing, I've got this one here, it's really nice. And then I've, I've been looking for a really good red, proper, really nice Christmas red and I found this one here and it's the Nouveau and this is the sports car red so as you can see there it's just really bright it's, it's just like my nails so and that's the color I've been after so I picked up that one as well and then I've got this here now I want it was for these more than anything these are lovely and um, they're just little flat back kind of gemstones without the adhesive but it was these again it's those flat discs I want them for shaker cards and I also want them to have as little embellishments on my cards and they're tiny little hexagons they're ever so small but just to add that little bit of shine and sparkle and I, I had them in my cart for a while so um, I went and got them this time I think they may have been reduced I can't remember I have to check but they're lovely really really sparkly and again there's so many in there and then I finally got this so I missed out the first time I had it in my basket and it had been it got taken it was sold out and this is the paper discovery and it's the lost in music and this is the musical panels die set and uh, this is nice but it wasn't for that I wanted this here so um I've got an idea on how I want to use it I'm not going to lie I did think it was going to be bigger but it does clearly say on there the largest die set and it says the size I just didn't bother reading that because it's I just don't but it's still a good I'm still I'm still pleased with it and um, it's uh, yeah it's great so this is your piano so I've got the embossing folder which came in the paper, the paper craft society box um, which you'd see me use in that two-way trifold card I think it was but um, I wanted the die so here it is and then that's the other one there so that's the musical notes which is still lovely as well but I just think music and Christmas go hand in hand they work really nice with cards so I'm going to be doing using this with all of my other Christmas bits that you're starting to see me share so yeah that's that one so I know quite a few of you have got it and then I got my Wallace and Gromit dies so I'd seen these before I love Wallace and Gromit it's something I've watched for many many years it's it's always on at Christmas they do a lot of Christmas specials and it's just brilliant so I've got the stamps from last year which were in a magazine I believe and I do love it when they do these official things like the Father Christmas the Raymond Briggs you know I've got the the snowman and I've got the Father Christmas and you see me use them I, but these are the dies and these are the buildums so you've got Gromit you've got Sean you've got Wallace and you've got Feathers McCraw it's funny because Sean the Sheep I had the nod in Sean the Sheep in the back of my car for many many years so um, it was really nice to get him he looked just like that and his head was a wobbler but I'll just show you here so basically look at that so tiny but it will I know they look great because I've seen the inspiration but basically you just die cut all these pieces so there's the main body that's his knitted kind of sweater there and all his body parts there's his legs you can see so you cut them like on black or brown there's his face oh no yeah that's his face as you can see there there's his ears you've got his nose every bit so they're on these plates that's the zigzags for his jumper um, those are more details I think for the jumper that one there I'll have to look at the picture I can't see what that one is there's his face there's his wool you can just make out his eyes so there's everything there I do love these kind of dies I like building the scenes so I'm going to build the characters and I'm going to probably do them together so I'll do Wallace and Gromit on a card together I might do something quite funny with the penguin um 
sorry, not Wallace and Gromit, there's Gromit. Um, Sean, sorry. I might do Sean, Wallace and Gromit all together on a card. I think it's gonna look really nice. Maybe some kind of pop-up card or something like that. But um, yeah, I love these. And these are, for me, these are like collectibles. So um, these are timeless. Lots of years to come, these will still be enjoyed. So um, yeah, I was glad to get my hands on these. So once again, I will share the links. I did get these when they were on sale. I don't know if it was a one-off sale and then it goes back up to a normal price again. But again, I will link them for anybody that's interested. And then I finally got it. I got the hot pink, which is ridiculous. I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't need this at all. I have the purple one, which I'll show you here, which works perfectly fine. But this is the limited edition and it's always been sold out and it was sold out when I originally wanted it. So when I went to buy this, this was sold out. I wanted this one. So I just thought, okay, I'll get the purple one. And then everybody keeps saying, oh, I've got the, I've got the pink one. I've got the pink one. I was like, I want it. So I've got it. Always good to have a backup anyway. It's my favorite scoreboard. I like that it's thin. It fits perfectly just down the side of my desk. You have centimeters on the back and you have inches on the front and it will also make boxes for you. So it, this is your box lid and then this is the box base, and it, it explains all that to you anyway. It's the adorable scoreboard by Hunky Dory. So if you do like to make your boxes and lids, I never show that on my videos because not everybody has this scoreboard. But when I'm making boxes off camera, and you know, I will use this just for the kind of speed really, it's really quick to do. Um, but yeah, and it's got a handle there, so it's great for kind of grabbing, <laughs> I guess. And uh, it's just an all round, good scoreboard. I really like this one and you see me use it all the time. So you'll see me flip between the purple and the pink so I'm just going to keep them side by side because they take up no room at all. But I was super pleased to get it. You also do get the mini which I'm tempted to get because I do have the EK Tools one but I'd like the two the same that I'm used to you know because sometimes when I go to take the EK Tools one it's weird that I'm so used to this and this stylus and then I have to use a metal one and stuff so I think maybe I will see it might go into the sale at Christmas time they might have an offer on it but I might pick up the smaller version as well but I'd, I like them so when you like something um, you know if it's what you want then get it so that's what I did and this is the latest issue of Simply Cars and Papercraft so it's issue 210 and you get this amazing Altenew stamp set the Altenew ones when they do the free gift they always sell really well Becky the editor she asked me to do a commission for this to do kind of gift wrap ideas which I'll show you in a moment but you get this wonderful stamp set and then you have these layering stamps so you've got your your base then you've got your shadow and then you have your detail these sprigs here are beautiful and these sentiments are just lovely look December to remember I love the different fonts mixed you've got Christmas memories believe in the magic joyful traditions and holiday fun really nice ones for scrapbook layouts as well joyful traditions you could have a nice picture of something that you do every year with your family December to remember so great if you like to do your December dailies as well this is a really nice stamp set for that so it doesn't you know if you're not a card maker and you like your 3d makes or your memory keeping this is still going to be a good one and then you have your dies you've got your die to cut the baubles you've got the die for the bow you've got your little uh, kind of berry detail there and then you've got the stars and a more shadow detail really good set you won't be disappointed with this one and then just to give you an idea there of the inspiration i'm just going to take that away because there's a bit of glare but you can see that lovely card on the front that's been designed kind of a build up there of all those sprigs you've got the lovely bell and you can see the layers there that was one very simple packaging idea that i done so i just wrapped a present or it was a box in white paper and then i stamped directly on top of it and put some twine around so i'll just show you the packaging ideas here we go so craft your own Christmas again trying to get rid of that glare there we go so I stamped this paper here you can see all the different layers to get that really real 3d looking bauble or bell and then I've just built up a little kind of tag there and then I've made this bow which I show you how to do here and then these were some of the ones that I've done so you've got a gift tag you've got this exploding gift box which you'll see in a moment I've decorated the front of a notebook so you know if you are wanting to give just a nice token gift making notebook covers is really nice and then there's that present that you saw um, there's a close-up of that gift tag so you can see the berries there that I used I used glossy accents on them set it with an eyelet just to give it a bit more of a finished look and then again you can see that lovely stamp there I done this which was a paper looking gift bo gift bag so I used the craft card and I used some twine for the handle and I heat embossed all of that in white 
Again, there's a close-up of the notebook there. And then there's the exploding gift box. You can see when it opens, it, the sides all fall down. It looks great filled with loads of sweets, like a quality street or celebration, something like that. And then again, just the, the lid there. And then there's that one again there, very, very easy to do. And it looks nice as well. You could also do that on the packing paper. So if you buy your parcel paper, you can get the rolls of it, very inexpensive, one year for Christmas. I wrapped all of my presents in brown paper. And then they all had really nice thick red ribbon around them and I made gift tags and it looked beautiful. I think I've got a picture, I might have even shared it on my page many years ago. So I do try to do different every year. I've got some vintage paper which sometimes I flip to from year to year. So I'm still unsure what I'm going to do this year. I'm sure I'm going to have to incorporate some of my new stamps I think. So we will see, I will share it with you all at some point. Um, and then you're you know, onto all of your inspiration. There's lovely cards, I'll give you a quick look at some cards as well using that stamp set here we go so ingrid she's done some beautiful ones here that lovely vibrant green you can see you can make a wreath love this one here with the glittery bow again you can see here having the baubles hanging down just wonderful really is nice so that is the issue 210 and again there's the lovely stamp set that you get with that one and then just in case you've missed me shouting about my latest release here it is so i have the these are the dies, these are the stamps, and these will go with your wiper and your slider dies, which were my first two releases. So when we launched Jerry and Horace, loads of you were requesting for more animals, and that's what we've done. And with them, you get these props, these photo booth props, it's fantastic. So here's the two new stamp sets. So you've got your Christmas critters and your animal antics. You can see here we've got Eve the elephant, we've got Marty the meerkat and we've got Heidi the hippo and then here we have Bo Bear, Rudolph and Penelope or P the penguin. Super cute. I've shared all of my samples and I will link that up here in case you haven't seen that one. These are all available over on Craft Stash and there's some deals at the moment, you can get some bundle offers. And then here you have your photo props. And some people, a few people have said that they've just brought these because they've got other stamps that they want to use them with and they've got other ideas and these are great for like scrapbook layouts as well. So if you've got photos, maybe you've been to a wedding and they've had a photo booth and you want to do a scrapbook layout, these props would be really good to kind of, you know, document that photo really really fun and I've got a tray here to show you with just how some of them look so you have you've got your naughty and nice which I just think are adorable you don't have to put them on the sticks the sticks I brought from the pound shop they're just toothpicks I just cut off the ends um, you can see them on their own they just look nice little embellishments you can put these on your cards I've got the lovely uh, cute little Santa's hat there and I've used some of the fluffy stuff by Cosmic Shimmer. You just apply heat to it and it fluffs up so it looks like snow or wool. And then this one's really cute. This is a little unicorn headband. You've got the ears there, glittery horn. You've got cowboy hat, pirate's hat. Love the birthday hat there and I put one of the little polystyrene balls on the end. You've got a beard, you've got bows. So that's the party ones, these are the Christmas ones. I've used a lot on cards and so on. But like I said, if you haven't seen those close up, check them out. They're also all on my Facebook page. You've got the tie there. There's another hat with a fluffy pom-pom. So very, very fun. I've thoroughly enjoyed putting all them together. And uh, yeah, again, it will be linked below. And you have some dies that will cut some of the props. And then you have the dies for the critters there so there's dies to cut all of the outline of the animals you've got the balloons there some of the sentiments will cut as well you've got the present die that's his scarf for bow but you can put you can mix and match as well so really good fun and um, yeah you'll see me using them along with my big Christmas release which is on the 3rd of November on Hachanda so check out that one and I'll share some more stuff about that nearer the time. Okay, so that is everything. As always, I will try to link as much of this in the description box below, and I'll be back very soon with really fun tutorials featuring all of this wonderful new product. Thanks for watching, bye.